I've been making videos on the internet for nearly 10 years. And after working with dozens of professionals on countless photo and video shoots, I found that two lenses are really all you need to cover most of your videography or content creation needs. In this video, I'll show you the two lenses that I use most and help you decide which two lenses would be most helpful for you while sticking to a budget because let's face it, lenses can get expensive fast. In most cases and for most people, the two lenses that we're talking about are a zoom lens and a prime lens. A zoom lens is a lens that has multiple focal distances in it, allowing you to zoom from one to the next without the need to switch lenses. A prime lens is a lens with a fixed focal length. It doesn't allow you to change that focal length without the need to switch lenses. Before I reveal the exact lenses that I use personally, I wanna let you know that this video is not sponsored by anyone and all of the opinions here are my own. If you'd like to support this channel, consider using the affiliate links in the description if you decide to purchase any gear. All right, so the first of two lenses that I personally use is one that I've talked about multiple times on this channel, and that is the Tamron 17 to 70 f 2.8. I shoot the majority of my content on Sony crop sensor cameras, but you could easily find an equivalent or something similar if you're using full frame or even a different camera brand. If you want to save some money, I recommend going with a third party lens option, something like Tamron, Sigma, or even Rokinon. If you go with the name brand lenses, what I'm hearing and even what I'm seeing is a huge price jump for minimal quality differences. Also, I think it's worth noting that when you do pick up a zoom lens, you aim for something f 2.8 or faster. The slower lenses at f4 or the variable aperture lenses may be a little cheaper, but they're not as reliable in tricky or difficult situations. And the goal of this video and the goal of these two lenses are to have things that you can depend on and that will work for you without the need for multiple different lenses. So I know that there are a ton of options when it comes to zoom lenses, so why this one specifically? For me, the answer remains because of the wide difference between 17 millimeters and 70 millimeters. I can throw this on one of my crop sensor cameras and capture tons of different angles and focal lengths without the need to carry or switch lenses. And one of the things I really love and enjoy about this lens are the size and the price. Even though it's a 17 to 70 and made for crop sensor cameras, it's still so much smaller than the majority of full frame 24 to 70 size lenses. And when it comes to cost, it's still a fraction of the full frame equivalents, whether it's from a third party or from a name brand. And before anyone says anything about quality, crop sensor cameras are amazing in today's creator economy, and you should not let anyone shame you for using or working with crop sensor cameras. Whether you're picking this up new or used, the price point is excellent. You can get this lens brand new at around $700, or you can find a quality, reputable used version of this for under $500. The next lens that I use all the time for my content creation is a prime lens and specifically the 35 millimeter. When I'm walking into many situations or if I'm choosing to go out for the day, I'm normally reaching for my 35 millimeter. The field of view provides a nice middle of the ground focal length, whether I'm using a crop sensor or a full frame camera. And it's one that I really enjoy and rely on a lot. Now the lens that I have is an f 2.8, which provides a nice depth of field for my needs. It's also saved me a lot of money compared to the 1.8 or even the 1.4 versions. As an example, here's a price comparison of how these three apertures change the price. And as another example, here's some footage all shot with the 35 millimeter F 2.8. Now I prefer to run around with crop sensor cameras most of the time, especially for things like content creation. But if you're shooting on a full frame, you may want to consider different options, maybe a 24 to 70 or the Tamron 28 to 75 for your zoom, and maybe something like a 24 millimeter or even a nifty 50 or 85 millimeter for your prime. 
Just to reiterate, these two lenses are what work for me. You may have different needs and you may need to choose two different lenses to help you accomplish your goals. The point of this video is to show you that you only need two, maybe three lenses to really get most of your jobs done. You don't need to bring every lens in your collection and I find that most creative professionals even if they bring multiple lenses on a shoot, they usually only end up using about two unless a special situation or shot calls for use of that special third or fourth lens. This usually means that you're bringing extra gear onto a shoot or worse, the lenses are just sitting on your shelf gathering dust until that special time once or maybe twice a year where you need to pull it out and use it for a special shoot. So don't feel like you need to go out and buy every new lens or every new variation of a lens, just put them in your collection. They're not Pokemon. And I honestly believe that two, maybe three lenses are the sweet spot that will help you accomplish 98% of your projects. In the event that you don't have a lens that you need for a project coming up, you can always rent it. If you're just starting out or you don't have a ton of money, I highly recommend that you really think about what it is that you're shooting and base your lens purchases on that. Personally, I've found that using a zoom lens and a prime lens work the majority of the time, no matter if I'm filming a YouTube video, content for a client, or just going out and documenting my day. If you shoot more events, you may want to go with two zoom lenses. Maybe something on the wider end, like a 24 to 70, and then maybe a 70 to 200. So you can hit multiple different ranges without the need to carry multiple different lenses or extra camera bodies. If you shoot weddings, depending on your style, you may want to get two zooms and a prime or a zoom and two primes. It all depends on your shooting style and preference. Or if you're a complete, complete beginner or you just don't want to invest that much into camera gear, you may start with something like the kit lens and a decent prime lens like the Nifty 50 or the 35 millimeter. I believe that most beginner videographers or people who are into content creation and cameras start here. And I was no different. I started right here at a kit lens and a nifty 50 until I was able to assess my needs and make additional lens purchases. There are other reasons that I believe it's really nice to stick to two lenses. One of those is size and weight. Whenever you're bringing multiple lenses on a shoot or trying to pack multiple lenses into a camera bag, if you only bring two, you have so much extra space for additional equipment or accessories that you might need. Also, when you cut things down to two lenses, it cuts down on the weight. Sure, if you have a heavy bag, you might be getting a workout, but you're also fatiguing yourself, especially if you're going on location. Another great reason to only carry two to three lenses is decision fatigue. I've spoken with beginner creators and one of the reasons that they say they don't shoot or bring their gear out is that they don't know what to bring. The more options you have, the more decisions you have to make. And when you can limit those options and decisions, you can actually use your camera equipment instead of it collecting dust and you being overwhelmed. I hope this video helps you or gives you a starting point if you're someone who's newer to content creation or camera equipment. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Which focal links do you choose and what kind of projects do you shoot? As I mentioned before, there are links down in the description to the two lenses that I use specifically, as well as other additional equipment that I use. If you would like to support the channel, please consider using one of those links to make your purchase. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, remember to do the work, believe in yourself, and as always, keep creating. Peace.